Hi, so these are the instructions for how to make a palm cross and I'm hoping that the adults as well as the children are going to join in on this so that we can all have a palm cross. You might want to just check through your network coordinators. There may be some people who aren't able to access the video who would appreciate if someone could make them a palm cross. So that's, if you enjoy doing this, maybe you could make some for your neighbours or for other people within your network group. So do follow that one up later. Now, these aren't easy. I've had several goes um, and uh, I'm still working off the screen with the instructions in front of me so don't think I'm any expert but here goes. You need a piece of uh, paper or card. I'm using red for a purpose, uh, I'll show you at the end why. And uh, but obviously do them in any colour you like, do them in green if you want to represent palm, palm leaves. Right, it's quite a long piece of paper. This is longer than A4, and I've cut this one in particular quite thin. Uh, that was an accident, but uh, we're working with it. Uh, but thin actually is easier than thick. So a thin piece of long paper or thin card. And we start with a fold, um, a fold a little bit higher than halfway, right? But it's, it's approximate, it doesn't matter, we're making them out of paper. If it's wrong, you can always take a pair of scissors and just trim a bit off. Tricky bit coming up, right? We need to, if I just jostle around, fold it, and it's going to be a fold that goes behind, right? We're folding it, a right angle fold, going behind, so that you get a nice square in the corner here. Let's bring this in so you can really see it. A square in the corner here, and a triangle slope on the outside there. And you can see that we've now got a vertical stripe and a horizontal stripe. This one's going to make the sides, this one's going to make the uprights. And the important thing is that you've folded it behind. The next thing we're going to do is take it over to the front. Let's bring that right into the middle there so you can see my hands, you don't need my face. Right, so we've got that bit there, folded over. This is the bit to try and get as accurate as you can. I think I've possibly gone wrong, so that's going to show that it doesn't matter if it's not perfect. Okay? Take your side piece round the back, but don't fold it. Then slide your thumb up underneath there, so that we're beginning to make a bit of a pocket. Can you see in there we've made a loop? All right? That's important. Okay, look. So we've got a loop there. We're going to take the bottom piece up over the top and thread it down through your loop like that. Okay, it's fiddly and don't despair. This is the most fiddly bit. But do spend a bit of time just trying to get that as accurate as you can. I'm glad mine's not working perfectly. You can see how you might just need to fiddle it. In fact, I'm going to take it out and just start that bit again. So you can see it twice. I'm going to do it a different way. I'm going to fold it up there and now post it back down. Don't get ahead of yourself. You're not making a cross at this point. You're making a knot. Okay. So we've taken it all the way down and fold it tight there. That's the tricky bit done. It looks like that. Can you see? Hope so. And then we take the side piece and just slide that all the way through. Just make some little adjustments if it's not gone as neat as you wanted it. Bound to happen when I'm filming, isn't it? Okay. Right, now <clears throat> it's much more simple. We've made a little knot. It's got a pocket at the front going up and down and it's got a pocket at the back going from side to side. Bring it back so that we've got a strip hanging down to the bottom and a strip going off uh, to the right as I'm looking at it. Okay, we're going to start with the bottom and that's going to thread up through the front. Now you might begin to be able to see something that you recognise and just going to put a gentle fold in the bottom there and then take it and pop it down the slide it down the back so we've got a cross shape you can breathe a sigh of relief at this point it's beginning to look like a cross okay doke and now same again with the sides we're going to take the sides i'm going to spin it over so you can see slide the side through the back 
just taking it back so you can see what it's going to look like and just pull it a little bit closer than you think it's going to need because when you squash it it spreads out a little bit and fold it there and then fold your last bit back underneath please don't think I'm a genius to be able to do this this is now my eighth attempt okay and it's still not perfect I'm expecting some of you will be able to make something a bit better than that, but I am pretty pleased with that. Okay, now if you just bear with the video going a little bit wobbly, I'll show you what I've been doing. Right, I'm hoping that you can see there we've got a rainbow of crosses. And what I was what thinking we could do is, excuse my hand there, um, is we can put those crosses up in the window as a, a demonstration to the, our neighbours and to the people walking past our homes that there is hope, that Christ is King and that we can mark the beginning of Holy Week with our palm crosses. Okay, thank you. Happy making.